Are you thinking of making a move? Have you been looking for a home for a long time? Well, I want you to hear an inspiring story from some past clients of ours who actually have looked at homes for over 10 years. That's right. They've looked at a house or looked for houses for 10 years as their kids grew up, their priorities changed. And the crazy part is they saw the house that they bought recently back in 2010 and didn't get a chance to buy it then. Stick around. I want you to meet Karen and Gary, and this is a wonderful story that you're going to love. So we'll see you guys on the other side. Hey, everybody. My name is Jared Chamberlain, and I have special guests today. I have some past clients. So Tony Cusano on our team, uh, he has worked with this family for a long time. And they were gracious and are gracious enough. They're sitting in the green room, virtual, virtual green room, sitting and waiting. And we're going to talk to them about their process, what they went through, what was it like buying and selling. Um, everyone's got a story, right? So if you're watching this, uh, try to find something that is helpful for you. And if you're watching this and you have questions about the process or questions that uh, you want us to pass along to them, put them in the comments. We are always watching. We want to interact with you. Uh, so uh, I'm going to invite them in here. Give me one second. Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys? Hi, Jared. We're great. Doing well. Thank you. Yes. Well, welcome and thank you for taking uh, time out of your day and uh, and doing this to one, to support Tony because he's fantastic and two, uh, for sharing your story about uh, making a, a big move that you guys just made. <laughs> well, thank you for having us. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm the one that's honored. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. So I wanted to start and ask you guys, maybe tell us a little bit about yourselves and your family, because I think you guys have a couple kids and, uh, and maybe a little bit about the story. Like what, what happened? You guys just moved recently and maybe kind of give us some background to that. Sure. Uh, I'll let Gary speak. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so my wife, Taryn, and I am Gary. Uh, we have two children, uh, daughter age 14, son age 10, and uh, we've been looking for uh, a home for nearly 10 years now. Um, and it's, a, it's an ongoing process, but uh, luckily we found the home that we, we've uh, been wanting for a while. Did you say 10 years? Nearly 10 years, yeah. That is impressive. <laughs> so we were very well we, we we are kind of picky people so we yeah. wanted to stay in our particular area that we lived in yeah. so that we would not uproot our children from their schools and all their programs nearby so it Smart. wasn't as easy as just saying let's go to a new area and build a new home yeah absolutely or just say i'm okay with four or five communities right and let's just go find something there that's not what happened either that's correct. Yeah. So maybe, I mean, not everyone takes that long to look at a house. It would take, for you guys, it would take a ton of patience. It would take uh, a lot of diligence and, and you could probably save up a lot throughout that time as well um, for down payments and all those kind of good things. So um, now I have a whole set of new questions. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to know, so through that time frame, um, how, and you might not know the exact answer, but did your needs or wants in a house change as your kids were growing over the last 10 years and as you had different jobs or income levels or anything like that? What was that like in managing that? Because the expectation, that end goal could have been kind of something that's floating around and hard to nail down, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, I think the answer to that is yes, our our needs and desires have changed since we first started looking at a home uh, and until now. Yeah. Uh, I know we had certain expectations that we thought were important uh, yeah. and ended up not being as important after all. So maybe talk about a couple of those if you remember. Yeah, I, I know distinctly. Uh, one of the items that we we thought we really wanted was a triple garage or or more because yep. at the time we moved we 
people at the time when we were looking, we had four cars. And we had thought that, well, we need, we need all this garage space <laughs> yeah. to house all the vehicles. Yeah. And then uh, sort of over time, it, you know, cars were never, it, didn't, it was once a priority. Uh, now, you know, 10 years later, it is, is no longer a priority. Well, it's because you don't want your kids driving them around, right? <laughs> well, yeah, I think yeah. Uh, other other things in the home became uh, more yeah. important than just cars. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've always wanted the larger square footage, and and yeah. we just thought having as many vehicles as we did, it would have been uh, a luxury or convenience having the extra garage space, whether it was a triple or more. But knowing that we were also wanting to stay in an established neighborhood already. Yeah. It was very difficult to to find a seller who's saying, "Okay, well, I'm giving up this, you know, large estate yeah. home with three or four four car garages." So that made the search very difficult. Yes. And yeah, and knowing and in the location I, of where you were looking too. Sorry to cut you off there. Knowing in the location of where you live, finding that would be very hard. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah. And, and then another example, I guess, would be uh, when we first started looking. We actually only had one child, and yes. uh, she had not had started school yet. So our our um, neighborhood uh, or our ideal home could have been was a wider area. Uh, yeah. We we were looking sort of throughout the northwest of Calgary more so, yeah. and uh, we weren't limited to just any one neighborhood. Having kids and having them in school, it sort of uh, we didn't want to uproot them. And yeah. change their friends and their and their uh, their schooling. So now you know, ten ten years later, we sort of we're limiting ourselves just to a certain community. Absolutely. Well, and you don't want to uproot them from activities, from school, from friends. Uh, keeping that stable uh, for kids is super, super important. I know for us, we we moved this year as well, and same thing. We we waited for this little pocket because we wanted to keep our kids in the same activities at the same place in the same distance because I didn't want to start driving 15 plus minutes to go to it. You know, exactly. all that stuff is the super important. was a huge factor as well, too. Like we're yeah. used to a certain type of, I don't know, commute in area with all yep. where we shop, where we go. So those were important um, yeah. decision factors for us. Very interesting. I had no idea that it took you that long to find a house. <laughs> Yes, That's... it's a long story. We've known Tony forever, but absolutely, you guys are best friends. Yeah. <laughs> <Awful>. <laughs> so, what fears did you guys have about um, maybe about because you guys took a long time to buy? Did you have a house to sell as well? Yeah, yeah we did. I think that was our greatest fear was um, uh, because this is our first experience having to uh, sell our home and then uh, buy okay. a new home. Yeah. So, you know, understanding that those two are two big uh, commitments, two big tasks. <laughs> we had no idea how that, how to coordinate yeah. that whole process. And what was that like um, with Tony? Like, how did that process get handled? Uh, Tony's been fantastic. He's been an excellent uh, real estate agent to deal with. Um, yeah. We have a long history, like I said. Um, so we were searching and whatnot. Um, Tony is very reliable. Um, he was not pushy with us. Like he was yeah. very patient in the whole process. So we're like, every time I would text him, wee hours of the night, I see a posting come up on MLS and I'm like, Tony, can we have a viewing? And he's, he's always, always up for it. He'll book it, book us in. Yep. Sometimes he would give direct feedback saying, you guys won't like this. Because he <laughs> knows what we were looking for and yeah. we wanted something, you know, to suit our needs. And I wanted stuff that was modern and not too old. And I, I was picky. Yeah. So he would tell us up front whether we would like it or not, but he would definitely do the showing. Um, the process was really good. He's an excellent negotiator. So I think yeah. that comes with a good rapport with your agent. That's yes. really, really important. And we had that. We were fortunate enough, fortunate enough to have that with Tony being able to communicate with him at all hours. He was always yeah. available to answer questions. And when it came to, we bought our house first and then sold after. So that was Smart. our process. 
Um, so the buying part was quite easy. I mean, he was a great negotiator. That came down to just basically yeah. what we were wanting to pay on pricing when we found the right house. Yeah. And um, the selling part was fantastic. Chamberlain, has, you guys have the best photographers. So when it comes, <laughs> so we really appreciate that. Okay. So the step was, you know, Tony gave some feedback. We basically yeah. decided to empty out our house. So the showing of our house was really important when you become a seller of a home. So we learned a lot about that. Yeah. So coming from a family of four, we have a lot of stuff accumulated. Just, <laughs> just having children and, and having things in your home. So we basically emptied out our home and had it had it really well staged. So Tony's advice was he was he called in a stager for us. So we had yeah. Jackie come in to stage our home. Nice. We pretty much used we pretty much used all our own furniture, which was yeah. uh, fantastic. We moved things around. We moved furniture from upstairs and 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 kind of displayed and utilized the rooms where we never thought we would imagine displaying it that's not how we we normally yeah. have a home but so that worked. was a really good insight between yeah. the uh, stager jackie and tony um yeah. tony went above and beyond there was some furniture that was so heavy and i'm like how am i going to move this up he actually personally came <laughs> and used his muscles and he helped us move all all our furniture with a friend of his actually oh, so no that way. was above that's and beyond funny. service yeah, and uh, your guys as photographer, as I as I mentioned again, Chamberlain shot such beautiful photos. We nice. had about fifty photos with our nicely staged home, and yeah. that was fantastic. Um, yeah. So those were steps that were really important, and I think he knew how to to price our home as well. Like I mean, we yeah. talked about it as together as a group on how we would price our home, but many factors came into play, and our home sold very very quickly thanks to yeah. i mean everything that we did yep well and i think that's the whole that's the beauty of having a solid process right um you probably were able to capture as much as you possibly could uh in terms of what the market was going to give you for the value of your home right and uh and you said so many good things in there that are that you flew over but are so so value valuable right in selling but like having like jackie's a miracle worker uh she is so important because she can come in and give you that third person uh, opinion right but from an expert standpoint of this is what she does and using your own furniture you don't have to rent new furniture to get your home looking amazing and like you said honestly it's decluttering like getting rid of half the stuff um and then just moving it around and and maybe like you said moving stuff up down and spaces you didn't think would actually work or showcasing it a certain way and um it just opens the opportunity for more buyers to fall in love with it and that's exactly what sounds like what you guys went through which is very exciting because that's that's the best way to do it well the whole decluttering process jared was quite stressful so actually <laughs> i didn't mean i forgot to mention we actually rented a storage unit we had oh, a very smart. large driveway on the, we we rented a storage unit because we knew we had to move stuff anyways like we knew yeah. we had to move so we rented a storage unit and our driveway was large enough to hold all our stuff per se all our goods yeah. and junk so we literally emptied out our house I mean, I know not many families may want to go that route, yeah. but we wanted it to be basically showroom ready for our yeah. home to sell. So that was really important to us. That's a smart we thought, move. well, you know what? If we walked into a home, we want to see, you know, we want to see it in its best condition and, and, and be wowed, like the yeah. wow factor. And, um, and, and that happened for us. It really did. And it was just, it was a really surreal and I don't know, I guess amazing process. It was stressful yeah. at times, but then when when it came down to the end, it was it was great. That's good. That's awesome. One well, and I heard and I, I believe it's your place. You guys got multiple offers. It turned into a great situation, and and it worked out really good, right? Yeah, we we really couldn't have asked for uh, a better transition, uh, smooth process. It was uh, ideally the best of all all worlds for us. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So what do you think it was like, what, what did we do differently that you may have heard from other people, friends of yours who have made moves um, or other people's stories? What did we do different that made the biggest difference uh, in making this transition happen for you guys? 
I think with timing wise, again, I'm going to give uh, Tony Cusano the kudos and credit for this. He, We're going to call him Kudo Cusanos now. <laughs> as well as Chamberlain, definitely. Uh, he, he he knew when to, you know, when it came to listing our home. Like we were taking our time. Like I said, we bought our our, our new home already. And I yeah. thought, oh well, you know, we'll just take our time and declutter, and you know, we'll do some painting and touch ups and and fix up our house. And then it was like Tony kind of calls us and says, well, you know, there's a time we need to get this home listed, you know, because it's a, a certain time frame that you know it's a good market right now. If you want yes. maximum dollar for your Absolutely. home, you need to list it, not not sit on it and take your time. Yeah. So then that was that that became stressful for Gary and myself. We we're like, oh my goodness, let's just dump everything into the storage mm -hmm. trailer and start just you know emptying out the home and 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 have it ready. Yeah. So just picking the day on when to execute um, your home to be on the MLS. And Tony is really, really smart with, with what day to pick. He booked basically all our viewings in one day. He, nice. he had it. I mean, it's just the whole timing, I think, is really important. Like I said, yeah. um, how how it's all done. And he he booked a bunch of viewings i guess on on a friday i recall and then they yep. were all in and we basically sold on that same day so good <laughs> so i don't know how to say it i don't know i i didn't i was kind yeah. of relieved that i didn't have to um it sold so quickly that we didn't have to say okay well let's keep our house super neat and tidy yeah. and clean it for all the showings and leave our house all the time because we also sold during the pandemic which yes. i was very surprised um Jared, and even with, with Chamberlain or even all as many uh, as well as all the other homes on the market yeah. but I know on my street when we were selling there were a few other homes that were up for sale before ours yeah. and ours sold so quickly and I think a lot of it like I said yep. it had to do with your website how you yep. marketed our photos um, yep. on 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 our MLS listing yep. um, that was fantastic because when we sold our house, I know for weeks on end, those houses that were still on my street with different um, agents, they were still up for sale. Yeah. Well, the biggest thing too is there's two factors when you're selling your house. The only two things you can control is the pricing. So what are you going to list it at? And your preparation. And so you guys have to also take some kudos because you guys did a ton of work to get your place ready to get that result as well. But you also uh, listened and took the advice of, of the stager and agent and everyone that was involved in the process, right? So so those are the only two things you can control. Everything else you can't. You don't like everything else. So um, so that's that's really, really good. That's amazing. Yeah, and, and to add to that, Jared, I, I think uh, we also benefited from Tony's expertise in, in being the, the agent for our home, selling our current home at the time yeah. and purchasing the new home because yeah. he knew our schedule, sort of what time frame we needed to be out, what, yeah. time, we, what time frame we had to sell by. So having that knowledge for, for yeah. both sides benefited us because he, he kind of kept us on task as yeah. far as that uh, timeline. That's really good and it's super valuable because then you're not just wasting time or dollars right you're actually uh, making it the best that it can be so that's amazing i mean that was my next question how did we handle the process for you and and i think through all of what you've said is um is is well <laughs> it was handled well <laughs> it was so smooth sailing it was on honestly yeah. it was your agent i mean tony was seamless it, it made it so seamless and really i mean we just kind of the only things we did was okay you know make the appointments with the banks and whatnot and then he would text us to say i have showings you need to get out of your house but that only <laughs> happened for us one day so yeah. <laughs> i feel really grateful i'm like oh cleaning the house and you know like keeping it neat and tidy and and you know the mirrors thick and span i mean we yeah. only had to do that fortunate for only one day which was yeah. totally amazing can you imagine i know in past we've had listings that uh, whether it's a really slow market or whether they needed certain prices, whatever the situation doesn't matter, but there have been people who have had their homes on for months and have had like 75 showings and now, uh, and I couldn't even imagine living through that. 
Like that would be, that would be very hard on a family, right? And so the way you guys did it, the way you approached it, buying first, selling second uh, in this market, super smart. Like that was really, really good. Um, I wanna ask you one other thing. Um, take us to the moment when you realized that our service was actually working to solve and relieve the fears that you had. Like, where were you? What were you thinking? What made, what made it go click? And just all of a sudden you're like, this is happening. This is working. Like, take us to that moment. I can answer that. Sure. Um, you know, we, we have our, we were worried that our house wouldn't sit on the market like many other homes on our street. We thought, this, what if our house doesn't sell? Then we're going to be yeah. stuck with essentially two mortgages, yep. or you know, a lot of a lot of debt for two homes because we already bought our first home. Yeah. So that aha moment is when I saw when Tony sent the link to say your your home's listed, <laughs> and I'm clicking on this link on my phone, and I'm like, as a person, I was like looking at this home and looking at the photos. It was really a wow moment. When I looked at my old home, I was like, this home is beautiful. I yeah. want to sell it. It looks too good. <laughs> so truly, that's not how I honestly felt. So when I saw the photos and how it was staged, I'm like, I would buy this house. I, I'm not yeah. going to move anymore. This, looks, yeah. oh, this house looks great online. That's so funny. when it went up, I thought, okay, this is happening. It's real time. It's listed. And the moment Tony called and said, Friday, you got X number of bookings. I think he had the whole Friday book. Yeah. That was the moment I thought, this is great. This is wonderful. Like I go, when I looked at the pictures, I thought, now this, this, is, this is how the internet, this is how a nice looking house should sell. <laughs> so right. to me, I was like, this is great. And then as soon as he said, there's a lot of listings booked on Friday, that was the wonderful moment. It was like, okay, this is going to yeah. be good news. And basically I kind of left it at that. And, and you know, Gary, he's more conservative. He's just kind of like, oh, well, we, we, we really need to get this house sold. You know, I don't want to be stuck with, with this house for any longer than it has to be. Yeah. But like you said, we can't control those factors. There's only a few yeah. things that we can control. Yeah. It was beyond our, you know, beyond our control by then. Yeah. And uh, we went out for dinner on the Friday and then yeah. like, Tony kept texting us. And I'm like, oh, he's just, I have to have, you know, I think it was Father's Day or whatnot. And we were having dinner. I said, I'll text him later. You know, it's probably not important. But that's, that's it was surreal. And, and we knew it was going to happen when we had the offers. When offers yeah. were coming in, I kind of looked at Gary and go, what, already? <laughs> and, and that was kind of an exciting moment. It was sort of an adrenaline rush. We're like, wow, it sold so quickly. Yeah. And I guess, and this is something that I've always wondered, um, because I know I, we've sold our own houses or been a part of our own sales and moving and whatever too. But, but um, did you ever at any moment kind of have this feeling of, did we price it too low when you had offers that first day or... I don't, you don't have to. I was just more curious. Um, personally speaking, uh, I would say no. Because yeah. um, I think the market is what the market is. It, yeah. Your house will sell for the price that the market will dictate. Right. So I never will, I never thought that it was too low because we were going based on Tony's recommendation, yeah. his years of experience. He gave us a number to start, and we were comfortable with with that starting number. And it and that's amazing because it sounds like you guys really trusted him. And I think that is a, a big part of making a process go smooth, is having quality trust and a quality person that that you can can do that with. And so that's that's fantastic. That is fantastic. Tony was really flexible with us. Actually, Gary wanted to price out a house lower than the, the average selling homes in our area. Because, you know, yeah. we get you guys get a report and you sort of know what sells and, and yeah. what the average selling prices are. So Gary wanted to say, well, let's, let, let, let's get lower so we can get lots of viewing. And yes, that's possible. You're going to list yeah. it lower and you can have tons of people walk through your house, whatever, first the first few days. But then I was thinking differently because when I'm thinking, well, okay, I asked Tony and Tony came, kind of gave us some numbers on where to start with. And yeah. I wanted to lift it on the higher end, but, you know, not, not too high because then you may not get any viewers. It, right. may, it may, you know, you might turn away a lot of viewers. Yeah. So showing. So in the end, we kind of worked uh, in between. 
Perfect. So in between what was suggested and we said, okay, let's just go with it. That's so good. No, that's great. So would you, it's, I, I kind of feel like I know the answer, but would you recommend Chamberlain Real Estate Group and, and specifically Tony to your friends and family and, and people who are watching? Absolutely. You guys have been fantastic. The whole process. Awesome. I think you guys are very knowledgeable with your, your market values, your, your trend, you know, the, the, um, the, the trends in different areas of the city. Yeah. Um, what's important is that I think the people that whether you're a seller or buyer that you have to have a good trusting rapport like I said in the beginning of our interview with your agent yeah. so I mean we were fortunate only because we've known Tony as an agent for him to help us look for a home for so long yeah but to see him execute everything and to see him negotiate and to <laughs> to work behind the scenes that we don't see it has been fantastic yeah. Chamberlain, like I said, um, you guys have a great reputation, great photographers, um, you know, your website or your internet services. I think you have to work with, with the current times. You know, yeah. I see some homes, yeah. you know, I was expecting, I, will, will I get a little flyer with my pictures, you know, like those flyers <laughs> that you go in to look at homes. And I'm, yeah. I'm thinking, oh, Tony's like, oh, we don't need those right now. You know, everything's just done online during the pandemic. So it's funny because I thought, okay, well, I guess yeah. we don't have any details or a, a printout or a print of, of our home. And that wasn't necessary yeah. because yeah. I think with this day and age, everything is done electronically. Yeah. You have to work. You have to work with the flow with what's going on now in the current and you have time. to, yeah, like when you're selling a house, you have to really appeal to what the buyers want, right? And, 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 and find the buyers that, that are looking for that. So yeah, that is awesome. I mean, I love your story. I think, um, did you, well, here's the biggest question. Did you, did you end up finding space for all the cars or did you have to sell the cars? Yeah, I, uh, I ended up selling both my cars. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's nice. okay. I, I don't mind giving them up. So, uh, yeah. Maybe there'll be space in the garage for a, a motorcycle in the future for, for myself. So. I like how you think. I like how you think. <laughs> he got rid of the convertible, but I guess we were not driving it very often anymore as much in Calgary weather. That's right. I mean, it's, uh, you can't, it's hard to find a good quality four-seater convertible, right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much for spending time with me today. And uh, and for those of you that are watching, I mean, this is a great story. It's a great, uh, it, it's with a really good ending. And I think that's the really exciting part about this too, is that, um, you know, with diligence, with trust, with patience, with uh, trusting the process, I think you can definitely make moving up into that new home possible. And even if it takes you 10 years, I mean, we're here for you. We'll help you figure this out, right? And yeah, yeah. go ahead. And the story was, we actually looked at this house for 10 years, uh, Jared, but we missed out on the opportunity. We were, this house was actually sold when, by the time we actually made it an offer on this, this new house that we're in now. So this is our second go around to buy this house. Oh, no way. Yes. That so is crazy. we got it the second time. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's almost like a war. I feel like I was on eBay trying to buy a house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. There's that's an even better ending. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for spending t today with me and uh, and taking this kind of twenty minutes or so and and chatting and uh, and and yeah. Uh, thank you for trusting Tony, trusting us, uh, the processes that we use and uh, systems and uh, and we are just so happy that you guys are in your new place and it's in the right community and you finally found it after all this time. So that is fantastic. So thank you for joining us. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. That's All right. my Chamberlain story. <laughs> that is your Chamberlain story. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.